Hello educators! In this video I am going to be telling you and showing you how to not only publish your entire Canvas class so that it's visible to your students, but also how to publish everything within your course. Tips and tricks not to miss anything and maybe your students think something is active and you didn't publish it. But also I'm going to show you how to lock certain modules so they unlock at the time that you wish as your course progresses. So let's get started. The first thing I want to make sure that you understand is that you have to publish your entire course, your actual course, or multiple courses if you have them individually, before the students can even see that course. So if you go to the top right hand corner, if this unpublished with a circle and a line through it is red, that means your course is not published. That means the students cannot even tell that you have this course Canvas Shell active and ready for them. So you want to make sure you click the publish button on the right side over here. Once you do that, it will turn green just like it has now. That means that it is published and the students can view everything that you have within the site. So they can actively go in and view everything. I'm going to click it off for right now and then I'm going to take you into this class. So this course was published, it's already a class that's completed. So not only do you want to make sure your entire class is published, but you want to go in and make sure that you've published everything within your course. So if you're following me up until this step, you probably already have your modules created. So this is all of my information. These are all the pages within this one module. I do it by units, but you can do it by weeks or themes, whatever you'd like. Go to the far right hand corner, you're looking for again that publish. It's the same idea, it's a green check or it's a circle with a line through it saying no, not published. If you see the green check, that means this whole module, everything within the module is, is active. Now note, you have to also then go in and make sure that every single page, every single discussion, assignment, quiz, that everything is green and checked as well. Typically, when you click the green button up here, typically everything will be checked underneath it. But say you want to create something within a module and you don't want the module to be seen just yet, if I unpublish this entire module, then they're not going to see any of this as well. You will be able to see it, but the students will not be able to see it. So if you're working ahead and you're working on something that you just haven't had time to create, you can just click on publish and they won't see anything within that module until you click publish. Then when you click publish, they're going to see everything within that module. You just want to do a double check because if you add something into a module later on and it, it it's unchecked, they're not going to see it. So just do a quick gander, look through, make sure everything is green. You want that green check. Okay, so you want to make sure that everything is published by just checking the, the green box on the right. So if you have a student saying, I don't see my quiz, where is it? Just double check first that you have published it, meaning the student can view it. If you don't have it published, that means the student will not be able to see that page or that assignment or that quiz. So the next thing I wanted to show you is within a unit, how you can lock a unit and really make it specific. So for example, I don't want the student to be able to, when I publish my site or publish certain uh, parts within my course, I don't want them to be able to go through and take the entire class in a couple of weeks. I want the students to progress in the class as I am guiding them to progress. And that's just my personal opinion as a teacher. There are some online teachers that will let them complete the course within a week. I, I don't I don't like that because I want them to be guided as a class and still have some community. So I lock the modules until I'm ready for them to move on. If you go over here to your module, click the little hamburger, the little three dots. When you click on that, you can click edit. When you click on edit, you have editing within a module. So just this module. This is unit one module, which is chapters three and four in this class. And I clicked the little box here, the blue box, and it says lock until. And then I pick the date. So that means that this, the students will see this module, but it will, be, it will be somewhat shaded, a gray shade, and they can't click in it. So they can see that it's there, and they usually can see all of the pages, but they won't be able to go inside and read the pages, read the content, go into the assignments, go into the discussion boards. They won't be able to actually go into it. 
So I chose to lock it until this date because I didn't want them to start this module until this first date. In the first week of school, I do like an introduction, some basic assignments to get used to Canvas, and then I didn't want them to start the first unit until here. Now you can also add some requirements now. You can add that they have to complete all of the requirements as they move through. Again, this is what I prefer to do within each module. I click the box here where it says students must move through requirements in sequential order. I make it where they have to click through all of my lecture notes from the beginning to the end of the module because I want them to at least click through it. If they don't click through it with that bottom button on the bottom right that says next, they have to go back and restart from the beginning and go through if they want to get to the actual exercises and assignments and discussion posts. Even if they don't read it, I want them to be forced to go through it. Okay, so I make them go through sequential order. That means that they have to read my lectures and my notes and my videos and everything I've included to actually get to the end of the module, which is the quiz, the discussion post, those final um, assignments. And then you also have a couple options here as well. You can have them complete something before, you can have them view something, and then it makes this the requirement to get into it. So this is a really great way to kind of force them to go through the unit as you want. And again, you're guiding the student, telling them this is the best way for you to view and, and learn in this course. I think it's helpful because if you just put, read these chapters, take this quiz or this assignment, they're really not going to get that much out of it. So that's a great way. And then um, a lot of times you can make sure, see they're having to complete all of the items before they get to the very bottom. So they have to literally click through all of these pages that I've created with photos and videos and lecture notes and whatnot before they can get to the actual assignments, which is the discussion and the quiz. And they have to do it in order. They have to do the discussion, then they have to take the quiz, and then they get the checklist. So again, you're guiding them through. So you can lock it and make sure that they're only taking something when you want to. For example, the final exam. If I go down here, click edit, click on edit, this is locked until February 4th, which was, you know, the last the last week of this um, winter session class, which was very short. I think it was only six weeks long. So this was the last week. I did not want them to be able to take the final exam in week one or week two or week three. I wanted them to take it during this time window that I've given them. Again, you can add prerequisites here that they must have completed this or that or whatnot. You can add requirements down here, and I did. I said students must complete all of these requirements. You can click move through sequential order. You can click anything else you wanted to. Um, but for the final exam, I didn't really use a lot of it. I just said that it's going to be locked until this date. So that's a great way to set locks on everything as well. Again, making sure you've published everything and making sure that you've set certain lock dates so that they're again, they're moving through the course as you would want them to. So if you have any questions again, always please let me know in the comments and I'll make videos for you. And um, in the next video, I will have something new to talk to you about in Canvas. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you at the next one. Bye.